This is Techno Enthusiasts, Seattle's premier geek podcast network. The German news agency. We interrupt this program to bring you a news bulletin from Washington. The White House has just announced. Here is a news bulletin. Shots have reportedly been fired. Here's another late development, and this news keeps coming in. This is an NBC News hotline report. Special this report. Is... Verdicts, verdicts, violence. National Guard troops. We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. We interrupt this broadcast. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this important... Hotel, and welcome to my side of the world, where you can find discuss issues on self-empowerment, meditation, self-sustainability living, autonomy, sovereignty, divine law, legalese, and other related issues. Hotep, and welcome to My Sovereign World. I am that I am. Some call me Haru, with my co-host. Shalom, call me Nas, man. Indeed, indeed. So we're going to get down, let y'all check out some of our conversation, what we talking about, what we doing, what we up to. I don't know about all that, but right, right. <laughs> just some insight on what we, what we, you know, just some thoughts and things. And like we always saying, we're always open to those, you know, if you have something to respond, we'd like to hear from you. What you got to say, what you thinking, you know, as you listen to this conversation or whatnot. So. Right, right, indeed. Well, let's let's start out with this. Let's um, I'm gonna go back to that uh, comment that your um, that the responder made. Yeah. About great. our previous show, and I think he asked a question: Why do we promote rebellion against the government? And I'm paraphrasing in some sense. We don't promote rebellion against anything. Because um, the one thing that I, I I'm an admirer of people that um, that are who they say they are and that that move mm-hmm. forward in, in in consciousness and awareness. And one thing that Mother Teresa said is that she says I'm not against anything, but I am for everything. Well, not everything. I am for positive things. For example, she said um, there was an anti-war. Um, uh, protest going on and she said she wouldn't participate participate she said look yes. when you want to have a pro peace um get together gathering i'll participate in that but i'm not going to participate in an anti-war and what that means is that look when you put your energy towards something i don't care if it's in fear i don't care if it's in hate or whatever the case the case is that's what you're going to attract Indeed. Right. Indeed. So when you that put, vibration, yeah, yeah exactly. Vibration. So when you say I'm anti-war, you know, you're 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 contradicting yourself. You're insane in univ- in a universal sense because you're saying I don't want this, I don't want this, but that's what you're focusing on. You don't focus yeah. on what you don't want. You focus on what you want. And what we want is we want government to do its job. We don't want to rebel exactly. against government. We want to promote government to do what you are supposed to do. Now I want to read yeah. something real quick. Just real okay. quick, people don't comprehend. They keep saying that we're in a democracy. You know, uh, you know, we, we America is a great democracy, and by the democracy, you have to mm-hmm. live by the mm-hmm. way of the democracy. And no, we're not a democracy. We have democratic policies, but we are not a democracy. We are a republic. Great. We live in a republic, and there's a difference. And I'm gonna read um, read something to you here real quick about the distinctive characteristics of a democracy and the distinctive characteristics of a republic. And real quick, I'm going to start out with democracy. Democracy says uh, the chief characteristics and distinguishing uh, feature of a democracy is ruled by omnipotent majority. In a democracy, the individual and any group of individuals composing any minority have no protection against the unlimited power of the majority. It is a case of majority over man. Okay. So in other words, Mm -hmm. mob rules. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay, that is a, a democracy. You like it or not? Uh-huh. If you look at the way the president is, and this is a, 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 a democratic policy that we have, and that is voting for a president. Now, there we have two um, two areas in which we we focus on when we vote, uh, focus on the president, right? The electoral vote and the popular vote. 
Yeah. Well, either way, both of them are a democracy because the majority elects them into office, and that is the way we perform our elections, right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. the policies that they're supposed to support once they get into office are this of a republic. And let me read this to you about a republic. A republic, on the other hand, has a very different purpose and an entirely different form or system of government. It proposes, excuse me, its purpose is to control the majority strictly as well as all other among the people, primarily to, excuse me, to protect the individual's God-given unalienable rights and therefore for the protection of the rights of the minority, of all minorities and the liberties of people in general. The definition of a republic is a constitutionally limited government of the representative type created by a written constitution adopted by the people and changeable from its original meaning by them only in its amendments with Mm. its power divided between three separate branches executive legislative and judicial here the term people means of course the electorate or the people within the um, within the state you mm-hmm. and me for example not mcdonald's not microsoft not bp <laughs> not arco not any corporation but you and me if you're listening to this then it's you indeed, <laughs> right indeed. if you I'm can hear you. this I'm because nobody else, i mean obviously a, a corporation can't hear it and that's what we've gotten confused in we believe that co- when i say we believe it and you you can deny that you believe how corporations have rights all you want but you 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 display this belief by your actions whenever you support Mm -hmm. corporate rights or corporate privileges over your individual rights then guess what you are saying that um that you know you don't want to live in a republic anymore so we are standing we are to uh we make the stance to compel government to do what they're supposed to do um compel people to do what they should do sure right stop complaining unless you want to be responsible and if you want to be responsible well let's do this right yeah, and stop sitting up there at the on the street market <laughs> or up there <laughs> occupying some kind of place you don't even need to be occupying. I, well, right. that's another story well, in itself, but that's the saddest thing. I mean, we don't. We need to start acting accordingly, acting responsibility, acting responsible for the works we do. You exactly. know, if you're not going to use the bank system, stop using the banking system. Well, and if that's, that's what you want. Yeah, you yeah, know. exactly. And and again, that goes into the premise of what's going on right now with Occupy Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Look, we get the frustration. Yeah, that's what we I mean. really do. <laughs> but you know what? You can't say that I want to put this fire out but continue to blow gasoline on Come it. Come on. I know. Come you, on. You can't that's do what we it do. Because or that's put, again, put. that's insane in the universal concept. It's just insane, period. You know, I want to put this fire. I want to put this fire out, but yet you keep throwing wood and you keep throwing, mm-hmm. you know, combustible items on it, you know, so you just gasoline, wood, whatever the case is. Uh you can't throw some things that are flammable that are on the fire and then want that fire to be gone. Look, I do my part in making sure that the banks are, are that don't have power. I took my uh my, my value out of it. <laughs> you know, Indeed. I took the alleged money that's that, what time it, it is. yeah, took yeah. it out of it and I closed the account. Mm-hmm. That's what time it is. You know, and and and, and handouts. We keep looking for handouts. We it's crazy because the the all the opportunities are out here. Mm-hmm. Everything is out here for us, but we feel we don't want to go. It's funny how we don't even want to take the time to look at them anymore. Well, here's you know the frustration of that <laughs> is that you have a history of it. Let's 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 deal with um, let's deal with the release of the slaves, for example, or people that oh. were in bondage considered slaves for a reason. Uh, for example, a lot of and, and this is going to offend some people, but you know what? I don't care. That's Truth is not popular. That's part of it. <laughs> when the people that were that were held in bondage were freed, they had more of a free mentality or spirit or I should say a a spirit of growth and establishment than the current descendants of those uh, of those people and the reason I say this is because we created a lot of townships a lot of so-called black townships a lot of black businesses and you know said hey they're not going to when I say they other people uh, you know Europeans or whoever they're not going to support us we're going to have to do it ourselves so we created black townships such as Rosewood such as you know the townships that we saw prominent in Oklahoma Oklahoma. and in northern Texas and in Arkansas and and Mm -hmm. so forth Mm -hmm. and there was a lot of times that um, that Europeans uh, descendants of Europeans or Americans thought that uh, European Americans thought that well you know what and and it's, it's 
it's not as polished as I'm putting it now because some of it was uh, contrived through hate and, and whether jealousy or what, regardless of what it is, but negative connotations. But the point is, is that they would go there and they would raid these people and they would bring armies in and disarm them because they thought that there was going to be a rebellion. No doubt, and no doubt. they did this these types of things and then they would burn the towns down and making sure that, you know, well, we're not going to allow you to establish your own. Well, that resonated through our descendants or through, through the descendants right down to yeah. us. And yeah. now you have what is called uh, and, and, and I don't want to put this just on us because there are more European women that are on welfare than than. Um, yeah. And so-called African Americans. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, let's put that in true context. I'm specifically talking about a, a in a microscope um, type of uh, a view right here. Uh, but that's hand, that's been that's been done in a microcosm or more than a microcosm it, throughout the throughout society. You know, yes. you get to a point where you say um, you want people to be responsible and create their own wealth and create their own livelihoods and so on and so forth but then government creates policy to take those things away for example there's it's policies that were created by government that actually take small businesses out of the fray and now you have a lot of walmarts popping up everywhere and takes the mom and pops out of the arena well they base this thing they base the the reasoning for this policy making on the free market well the free market yes. was here was not created for the world it was created for the people here <laughs> you see what no I'm saying? Doubt, no it was doubt. great for the people Free enterprise here system, suppose. right so and i'm yeah. not saying that we shouldn't keep up with technologies and we shouldn't um you know be able to make choices in in uh into um uh choices in in who where we where we shop and things of that that nature but when you when you put the when you slant the field the the playing field to big business it makes it almost impossible for small business to start up, and small business is the backbone of this of this nation. Oh, it's been you, that of yeah. this nation. Yeah, it's funny too, because when when we're talking about um, literally technology on Techno Enthusiast Show, it's that's all we talk about really is majority of corporatocracy. Mm -hmm. You know, you got these big ass, you know, uh, you know, mobile phone companies that's just you know really coming in here buying up everybody you got AT&T buying up everybody so you got no competition because well, everybody's bought out and even and the thing so that is is that that would be fine as long as the playing field was uh, was level yeah, but yeah, when you go and you allow them to buy politicians when you make exactly. politics a for business type of uh, venture then that's when you start you know seeing the the, the fruits of the so-called evil when you say uh, well uh, the love of money is the root of all of evil well again I think said last time we said we were going to change that to say instead of love we're going to say the addiction the addiction to money is the root of all evil so now when you get to the point where someone's saying well I don't love money but yet that's your main focus if you mm -hmm. look at psychology, yeah. when I was in school, one of the things that we studied in psychology, in, in a psychology was the study of the mind. And in, in the mind of men, there was an order of things. The first thing that we thought about was, um, of course, is, uh, you know, of course, after the um, uh, fulfilling the necessities, the, you know, the, um, you know, making sure that you weren't yeah, hungry, that you were sheltered and so on yeah, and so home. forth. <laughs> you start think you think about sex and mm -hmm. then money. Well, and people now think about sex so much that they know that the way to get more of it, and when I say sex, I mean, we're oh, talking heterosexual, yeah, we're talking you. about women, we were saying, well, to get more women, well, you need more money. Oh, well, we're yeah, focused no. on, the, on the women, so that, or excuse me, I'm sorry, we're focused on the money so that we can get the women. Well, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. So, again, it, it puts money as a high priority, and a very, that's a very that's simplistic and in, in one part of the explanation of it so nobody think that I'm saying that well that's all we ever think about and things of that nature I'm just saying <laughs> that is one of the top two things that we think about uh, you know we think about sex I think what they say every seven, sex, seven seconds sex, uh, yeah, of the, you know of a day <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, that's crazy. Um, I'm not sure how they came it's about been that socialized, well it's been socialized around you so much I mean everywhere you're looking some kind indeed, of symbolism indeed. or subliminal message is coming to you it's kind of like, well, not off the little off the subject, but that money aspect of it, that movie you hit me to, Inside Job or something. What was that? And they were showing, an, uh, they was doing an auction oh, on yeah. a $20 bill. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. Uh, no, this, that was, was a that crazy experiment. Or? Yeah, it was called Inside Job, that documentary. Okay, yeah. But well, um, that was really good, that illustration, because it showed you what, what people wanted. I mean, even the whole point of 
Well, and that's you another thing. That's little... another aspect, especially American society, is that when at all costs. And the experiment that he's talking about is <laughs> this, is that they put a group of people together, and it was maybe 20, 30 people. Uh, it wasn't a large room, but it was, you know, and it was a controlled experiment. And they said, well, okay, we want to auction off this dollar bill. But here are the conditions, is that you, everyone, uh, will, will, will start the auction and you bid how much you're willing to uh, give me in exchange for me to give you this dollar bill. But here's the condition of that is that if you're in second place, you also still have agreed to give me whatever it is that you um, <laughs> Uh, that you bid to pay for this dollar bill. So yeah. <laughs> if you bid $19 and the top bid bid 20, then you still have to give me the $19. Well, I don't remember exactly what it went for. I think it went for like $28. 28. And the 29. second 29 and then the second one was 28 or 27 what it goes. And so but they the point is is that they went over and what the uh, over and beyond what the face value of uh, of the dollar was supposed to be, which was 20. Now, of course, we're not talking about intrinsic value. We're talking about a non-intrinsic value, but you get the point. Um, is and, it's, and that's the competitiveness. Both of these men, and it was a group of men and women, but both men went above the $20, and everybody else was looking at them like, what are you guys doing? Y'all crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there were more yeah, people that were. actually did go over the 20 They just stopped when it got to the point, okay, this is getting ridiculous. And these guys just wanted to win. No, that, that's all it was. All it, there, there you go, that greed and you know, right. them other attributes of, right. you know, what we so-called been associated with, you know, because it's all about competition. You know what I'm saying? We always been competitive, mm -hmm. you know, well, it's especially irrational. this culture. It's irrational behavior. If you think yeah, about it, no what's doubt. the rationale? No I mean, for all, and these guys were supposedly, now all these guys, people were in this room were supposedly intelligent and they had high IQs and stuff like students, that, but yeah, yet students. they acted irrationally. Why would Indeed. you pay more than $20 for a $20 bill? I mean, I'm just don't, I don't see the benefit in that. So it wasn't about Indeed. benefit is that I went at the win, but that's irrational. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's the mentality mm -hmm. that we have. And then we take that into a corporate aspect of things. And then imagine this. Now, don't imagine it. Realize this, that corporations have a certain protection. You can do a, a corporation can do something that if an individual did it, the corporation will only get sanctioned or fined, whereas the individual will go to jail. Jail, prison. Time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I send somebody a notice in the mail saying that you owe me a certain amount of money and I don't have a right to do that whatsoever, I can get put in jail for mail fraud. Right? That's but yet, hold on. <laughs> Banks do that all the time. Banks and services do that all the time. Whew. And they may get sanctioned, maybe. Maybe. And then yeah, you still gotta you prove it. You gotta still prove that, that they don't, you know, you gotta go yeah. through jump through hoops in order to prove that they that they are not who they say they are. But with you, they're gonna come ask you all kinds of questions. You know, mm -hmm. if we said last time if a bank or or, or a major corporation puts a complaint on an individual and we used to do this all the time with um, people that were coming to the credit union police would be there in a flash but let one no of them hesitation. yeah let one of them <laughs> say well the bank took my money and blah 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 and this is well you got to take them to civil court <laughs> and, and deal with that yeah, you know because we don't want to get game, into it man it's a cold game i mean and that's how they set it up right. set it up like we talked about it before that go check out that movie the constitution or what well, the constitution the corporation. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, that's definitely um, kind of put a lot of things oh, in perspective. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man. And, you know, and, and it's it's long, but, I mean, it's worth it. Literally, yeah, you know, watch it in parts. You don't have to watch it yeah, all at once. It is, yeah, it is no long. Doubt. It's like two and a half hours. But, you know, the point is mm -hmm. when people sit through, uh, you know, sit through other movies that are like two and a half hours. Well, how long was... Uh, oh, boy, classrooms. <laughs> what's that one movie... Uh, the magical movie with the with the Lord of the Rings and I, uh, I think it's what it's called those are some long movies too but people sit through that yeah, yeah. and I love them actually because they're very deep when you actually looking at them because the Lord of the Rings when you're really breaking it down the storylines on most of these big movie heavy hitter movies really are um, giving us an eye opener right. subliminal messages you know the dialogues when you listen to the dialogue even on uh the two towers i was <laughs> saying this on my video the two towers literally frodo frodo baggins you know <laughs> but, right. i've never watched but it. Literally, I'm about to catch up the, with you on that the dialogue the dialogue and then gollum oh man when you listen to gollum what he's saying he's dealing with two dualities like 
evil and bad. He's like, should I get him back from what he did and vice versa? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a cold script, man. It's just like Star Wars if you're in the Star Wars or haven't seen it yet. That's something you definitely got to watch because it's definitely so deep. And I'm talking about the first three. The the other ones are kind of, you know, ah, ah. (laughs) but the original ones, I'm talking about the original ones, what he first came out with. Right. You know, back in the 70s and 80s. But. Well, and we, I want to jump back into this because I, I don't want to make this too long. I want to keep people's attention here is that um, the the other thing is that you have to be aware of what's going on around you with policy. Not, not just policies, but the way statutes and laws are being created. Look, every statute out there is not valid. Not every statute out there is valid. There are some of them out there that are valid. Yeah, uh, some of them are, are legitimate in that you are... You know, it's the law of the land, if you want to call it. But not all of them are. And a matter of fact, the majority of them are not. You know, do you have to have a driver's license in order to use the roads? You got to ask that question. You know what I'm saying? I can't ask it for you. You have to ask that question, you know, ask and answer. And I don't need one. I don't. Why? Because every time I go pump gas into the car, uh, into the whatever car I'm using, you know, uh, 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 here in Washington, they use the gas tax. They use a gas tax in order to pay for the roads to build them. Well, guess what? <laughs> Every time I put gas in the car, uh, I pay for a road being built so I can use it. Um, who is the owner of the roads? Who is the trustee of the roads? And what does that trustee mean? And what is the uh, what is his rules that he's supposed to follow? Well, again, in reading the Enabling Act, the declaration to which attaches and, and um, uh, uh, conditions set forth on the state coming into the union, on how they are supposed to um, set up their form of government and that it's supposed to be a republic form of government mm-hmm. uh, and a yeah. constitution, which I just read to you what, what that meant, which means they have to protect my individual rights. And we talked before about, um, which is, is it Title 18, United States Code 241 and 242, that under uh, when someone violates your rights under statute or the color of statute or law, well, isn't that what cops do when they pull you over, say that you need a driver's license, and if you don't have it, they that or uh, insurance, then they take your car from you? Well, wait a minute. I'm protected against uh, uh, seizures of my property, indeed, in my person indeed. and from my property, Personal and that car is my property. Yeah. Well, people say, well, you go get it registered. Well, to be honest, that's a, that is another trick. Are you required to have your car registered? It is actually a property tax. It's, an, it's a feudal law property tax, and you're not required to have your car uh, registered. And you already said it, feudal law. When you, right. And the, the key thing, too, and I want people to really catch this, too, go look at these words. These words we're talking about, traffic, driving. Yeah. Ask them. Ask you know, them. And feudalism. if you don't know, you know what? That's what your attorney general is for. Send them a Freedom exactly. of Information Act request and say, you know what? I'll please define the term traffic for me. You know, look up if you don't if you can't find these things, if you don't have the resources or the availability to go to law to a law library like, you know, like I do or we do, then you know what? Then ask questions, ask questions. There is nothing to say. They have to answer your questions. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're and, servants. That's yeah, what they do. Exactly. And it's, <laughs> I was telling you the example yesterday when we were talking It's like, look, people, um, you know, if you come in your house and you see a butler doing something that he's not supposed to, he's got his feet up and he's got your paper and looking at TV and whatever, and you're looking at the, the house and it's a mess and, yeah. you know, the maid's over there dancing to some to some music, whatever, you know, and she's getting down and the kitchen's dirty and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, well, wait, wait, what am I paying you guys for? And you have to, and if you don't, if, if they don't do what you, you know, do what they're supposed to do, you can admonish them first. And if they don't do what they're supposed to do and they continue to do it, then you get them out of office. You kick them out of the maid's office, you kick them out of the butler office, and you rehire somebody. They have an oath to uphold. And I hear so many people now on this popular bandwagon where the Constitution of no, what is it, the Constitution of no authority. Come on, man. <laughs> let's let's let let's stop. Let's stop that. Now I don't know where they where people That's are really getting. That's fueling the fire. That's it, all they doing. It, it, I, I I get the premise of what they're saying and what they're trying to say, and they talk about the progeny, but they're looking at definitions and they're taking a specific definition that fits with what they want to make their claim to fame about, and they run with it. Progeny mm-hmm. can mean either your direct descendants or just the people that come after you. It doesn't matter if it's your your descendants are not it does not require the word prosny does not require it to mean your direct lineage of descendants it does not have to come from your loins in other words 
In other words, anybody that's born after me, uh, this whole nation, if I say the progeny, you know, progeny of Washington State, anybody that comes after me in Washington State is who the heck I'm talking about, depending on, you know, the mm -hmm. document that I'm putting forth and stuff like that. But if I specifically say my progeny, this, you know, I bought this property for my progeny, then that's talking about my lineage. Right. Yes, indeed. Just like the hairs and the signs. <laughs> yeah, term. yeah. Yeah, and the land patent issue. And I'm glad you brought yeah. that up. <laughs> because yeah. a land patent is another issue. People keep mm -hmm. uh, we keep hearing people say, "Well, land patents are no longer valid. People don't do that any this anymore." Blah, blah 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 blah. Look, that is not true. Land patents are issued by or were issued um, if there's any lands that are no longer left. I don't know if there if there are any lands left in any um, in the various states Same. that are Same. still available yeah. for appropriation by the public. You'd have to ask the local BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, about that. Uh, which we're going to do here but if they have been uh, issued out from the trust what happens is when people first settle an area and they see lands that they want they um, they they survey the land and this is a simplistic uh, explanation yeah, well, they I survey the lands they um, uh, they get the documents together they pay a certain administrative fee and they get they um, they send it over to the, the Secretary of State um, and they get that land issued to them uh, and signed off by the President of the United States and show that you are um, uh, show that you are the one that they've issued the land patent to now on that land patent one of the things that it says at the very end is that this thing has been conveyed to you and your um, you heirs, your yeah. heirs and or signs forever yeah. Now, there it is. some right people here. keep saying, "Well, you know, land patents were this, and they're old, and they're no longer and no longer valid, and blah 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 blah." Read okay. the land patent. Get the Come first on. land patent that was issued on your property and see what it says. And look, your warranty deed, grant deed, or whatever you're doing is evidence of that. But you do want to accept and acknowledge that the uh, receipt of it uh, of of the of the grants of land. Um, I know one of the things that is very popular, or not popular, is just what's done now these days is there's been easements. I know here in Washington, I was reading the warranty deed and easements for Puget Sound Energy, the uh, high, or, uh, the water district, and the sewage yeah. um, have been included on that. But there was actually another thing that was included on it that was been that was snuck in, and that is property taxes were snuck okay. in as that you agreed when you took that warranty deed to pay property taxes. But wait a minute property taxes especially here in Washington are not for individuals they're not for when I say individuals I mean people because we talked about this before and if you go back and you look at the previous recording we put uh, we know that the specific RCW I think it was 84.041.075 um, mm -hmm. if I recall correctly uh, the specific numbers that stated what a person was uh, that was required to pay property taxes and it does not include people no, nope, nowhere so we've been says tricked, in that. Yeah, we've been tricked into a lot of different things. For example, with income tax, um, you know, I'm not a big IRS, you know, a guy where you know I can quote you a whole lot of stuff from the IRS. But you know what? I know enough to keep myself out of their jurisdiction because I don't <laughs> involve my, Yeah, you know yeah, why? Indeed. Because I don't involve myself in a trader business. Indeed. And what That's is a trader business? And... Tell the tell the people what is a trader business. Trader business is uh. Public, what is a trader is business? It's a public man? office. Public office, big time. Yeah, it's and been all up in there. Yeah, it's a public Chip, office. I mean, and, and that's like I said, you, you, we got to start questioning things we think normally we we process today because our parents is telling us this is what it is, and boom, boom, boom. But well, we that's because they weren't taught any better. You know. Yeah, they weren't taught. Yeah, any and better. that and that's where it comes down to. And it's funny because, you know, for example, my my, you know, my children ask me questions all the time. Um, you know, what is this? What is that? And it's like, you know, it's interesting. If I didn't know that or I just presumed to know something, then I would um, then I would just pass along false information. And mm -hmm. I wonder how often a parent does that where a child asks them a question and they may be involved in something business, busy watching TV, you know, whatever the case is, and, and may not want to take the time to actually, you know, fully answer or vet the situation and answer uh, the question for the child but then what the, the problem with that is what you've done is you've now passed along false information to this child that he now believes and that's the problem I mean we so caught up in this 
television. We're so caught up in all these devices, what keep us occupied, where we don't give the time that's needed for our children to give them the, you know, the information that's really needed and show right. them, okay, well, let's, let's get all this stuff down here and look at all this stuff. Let's see what's going on. Take the good for what is good and leave the bad for what is bad exactly. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> And so, just yeah. real quick, uh, I want to give some people. I want to give the people something to go to, so they can look at the information about what a trading okay. business is, okay. and that it functions as uh, it functions as a public office. If you go to 26 USC 7701 uh, A 26, uh, and and you know um, at L, or you know just continue to read, and you'll see that um, a trader business involves a public office. It, it is a public office. So when you go down to the secretary of state and open up a business, get a tax ID number, what you're doing is you're opening up a public office. You have the right to make a living. Mm. They cannot tell you that you don't have a right to make a living. I mean, come on, let's, let's think about this. Wait a minute. What's my fundamental rights to, ex to exist. And in order to come exist, on, I have to be able to provide for myself and in order to be able to provide mm -hmm. for myself in this way of you know in our way of life um, even if I go directly to a farmer I have to be able to buy food not just mm -hmm. not forget Safeway let's go to the fundamentalists and go directly to the source which is the farmer that's raising <laughs> it you know fine mm -hmm. you know or go buy seed or or you know whatever the case is the point is you have the right now it's 101 yeah you have the right <laughs> to make a living who is anybody to tell you that you have to have employment? Do you know what the word employment means? Come on. Come on. Have you ever questioned what the word of employment means? And don't make the mistake that think that just because you look it up in a um, uh, uh, colloquial dictionary, regardless of whether it's Webster or you know a collegian, you know collegian uh, volume or whatever the case is, <laughs> that that's what the government believes what it is, or any court says what it is. And if you don't think that's important, important, excuse me, go ask the people that have been locked up for not paying their income taxes. Yeah, employment is very those. important. It is very, you know, not just employment, but words are very important to know the meaning of what they perceive something to be or mean, so that you can mm -hmm. speak the same language. They have a a language that is called that is recognized in the courts and is called legalese. I mean, it's just like us speaking in Spanish or French or whatever, yeah. Arabic, whatever. Yeah. You wouldn't know what we're saying if, unless you speak that language. Exactly. And that's what's going on. Yeah. You know, it persons really and people and all these other terms they're using, mm -hmm. you know, they literally taking it, this colloquial language, or like traffic. How many mm -hmm. people think traffic is what we think it is, cars rolling up and down the street? That ain't no traffic, according to that them. That might be traffic between you and me, but it's not traffic between yeah. you and the court. <laughs> It's really not. It's the trade. It's the exchange and trade of of goods and services. Mm -hmm. It really is. So, are you paying? Is somebody paying you to take them somewhere? Are you delivering a package to someone like a UPS courier or a bike messenger or whatever the case is? Are you being paid to take something somewhere? If you look up, and even in Washington, if you look up the word traffic, it said is it includes pedestrians, bikes, and et cetera, uh, motor vehicles, et cetera. Oh, so they're trying to cover minute. every What's the word includes of... mean? <laughs> like, like, that's not what I asked you. I didn't ask you what include. Well, if I asked you the definition of a fruit and you say, well, a tomato is included in fruit, well, wait a minute. I didn't ask you what was included. I asked you what it meant. No doubt. You know no what I'm doubt. saying? And that's what they would do to you in court, too. They they like biting around the bush. Yep, they do. They, they beat around that bush, for sure. Um mm -hmm. You know, so bottom line again is I don't want people to think that we're asking for, you know, you to rebel against the government. That's not what we're asking you to do. We're asking you to compel the government to perform the actions uh, within the uh, within the framework that they're supposed to, that they're required yeah. to, and don't go beyond uh, their authority. Yeah, um, and, and like we always say, how, how do your butler make <laughs> – how do your butler have a – how's the butler tell you what the, yeah how's he living large he got yeah. uh bulletproof cars and big yeah. ass mansions yeah. where you can't even touch you can't even yeah. get close to them and we Come need to on, recognize man. we need to recognize <laughs> that we're not living under a republic what we're doing is we're operating within a corporation Indeed. you like it or not you're operating within a corporation if you go before you go to court look up uh your courthouse that you're going to it even 
don't go to court just look up the courthouse that you're going to look up the secretary of state office and you'll see that all of them are assigned a, a tax identification number do a freedom of information request act and find out uh, ask for one of their pay stubs and you'll see that there's a tax identification number they are paid from by way of a corporation go and look up if you're in chicago go look up the city of chicago police department and um, ask them for their certificate of, or their charter, excuse me, a certified copy of their charter. And you'll see that it's not the job, police's job to, um, to protect you. You'll see that it's their job to enforce statutes and policy or the uh, policies of the, of the corporation, which is the city of whatever, city of Chicago. And yeah. you can do that and in any city. Get, and let's get it clear, too. I want people to understand this. United States is a corporation. United States is not a geographical land. Well, there's mass. several things. One of the things it is is a corporation. The way it's acting, yes, it is a corporation. And whenever they interact with you, they're interacting with you with as a as corporation. A, yes. So yeah. So I want to clear that. Just let people know this is what it is. America's a totally different beast. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And, I mean, literally, it's a totally different beast. So we gotta. We got to distinct a few because I hate when people not really hate, excuse that term, but I, get you. I don't enjoy how people use. Well, well, we're in the United States and we got to do this. We got to do that. And boom, if you don't boom, like boom. it, go to another country. Yeah, well, yeah. Minute, go no, to you country. go to another on, country man. and stop letting them hijack this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you like those old kinds of laws, then you know go over and live in live in England or wherever the case is uh, that you know that has a uh, a history of a monarch, you know, things of that nature. And I don't know they've they've passed the the um, the mantle over to a parliament, but you know what power did they pass to the parliament? Does the parliament have the same power that the monarch once did? And if that's the case, nope. then the all the all the parliament is is just a group of people that have the power of a king. A small group that's of people all. that has the power of a king, if that's the case. Now, I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I'm not an expert on on uh, on UK or England or or anything <laughs> of that nature because I don't live there. I don't study it. You know, to each his own. Yeah. So I know a lot of people have been comparing, you know, English common law and English aspects of law, uh, aspects of law in England to what's going on here in the United States. And I can't compare the two. I never. I've been to England, no but I've never lived there. Yeah. You know what and I mean? It's all I want to say too, as well. I mean. I want people to understand that they are the illuminated ones. You are the Freemason. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know what, though? That's funny. The understanding of it, when you really understand what's going on, the yeah. principles of well, it. Uh, you you, let's, let's, let's put it in the perspective that, they, that okay. people, especially Americans, comprehend. Life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness. Ooh. Liberty is freedom. It means autonomy. It means the right to do as you choose not hurting someone else but it means the right to do as you choose in order to promote or pursue the pursuit of happiness um or pursue the pursuit of happiness anyway you get what i'm saying um and it is the the right for you to be free Indeed. in order Indeed. right you know so and again let's get back to the principles of government the principles of government is to protect the rights of individuals that is one now mm -hmm. you have to realize what we're doing is we're actually building an empire and that's what America is, unfortunately. And it's creating a lot of enemies across the world. Ooh. Do you honestly think, how long do you think that's going to last? When you're on, not even that long. When, when you're on a road, you have to look at a map to see where you're going. Even if you don't look at a map to see where you're going, you want to look ahead. And one of the things uh -huh. that I learned in, in, in uh, driving is that you always want to look 5 to 12 seconds ahead of you to kind of see what's going on with the cars in front of you so you don't get caught and surprised. Er, I got to put on the brakes real quick now because I'm not and I'm not able to stop because I wasn't paying attention to the car in front of me. You got to look ahead of you. Even if so that you're running off a cliff, you got to look ahead of you and see what's going and see where you're headed. Otherwise, you're just yeah, no. driving blindly. So, same thing in life. When you're going through life, you know, and when I say not just your individual life, but when we're going through all of our policies, all of the decisions and all the thing, act, actions that the country does or makes across the world, you have to look and see where that's headed. How many enemies exactly. are we creating across the world by going into these different places and telling them what they can and cannot do? Come on, man. And then what's crazy about it, if you're really into history, all this stuff is just repeated history. Mm -hmm. That's the crazy thing, what we don't pick up. All these events that's been happening over the years, when you're seeing them infiltrating these different countries, they've been doing that same routine over the years. Ain't yeah. nothing new. They just got different puppets, yeah. as they would and say. And I, I strongly different suggest puppets. that people start looking at Russia. 
You better start oh, looking wow. at Russia. People are focused on China. We think that China's our big, you know, big superpower competition. No, they're, no, they're not. If China were to get into a war by itself, they would run out of uh, out of uh, ordinances and uh, before the United States would. Oh, and significantly speaking of the yeah, United speaking States of that, it's Russia let's that bring you in look at. the Greece issue, that Greece incident recently. Oh, yeah. He was just talking about the other day. That it's interesting. They're standing up. Oh, we don't need your more loan. We oh, yeah. we ain't gonna give Greece no more loans. <laughs> yeah, Europe has said that they are no longer going to give Greece any loans, and I think they're upset because there was a um uh, uh there was a uh, a proposal put forth that um they would forgive fifty percent of Greece's debt and um. The government was uh, in a um, basically on its way to um, to pass that 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 uh, that policy, and the people mm -hmm. of Greece says, "No, you're not going to pass anything until we take a look at it and we decide on it because we are the ones that make the decision here." Well, that put a, mm -hmm. a big that put a big frown on the, on the banks. They were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, wait a minute! What do you mean you guys got to look at it? What do you mean this?" And well, wait a minute. So they're in other words, they're trying to make it so that. Uh, governments are controlling people rather than people controlling governments, and, and, and um, so is Europe big, is big not banks. happy. This European is, banks are not yeah. happy and don't want. Yeah, you talking Rothschilds? Yeah, you know they don't the want to promote. Childs they don't want to provide any more system. loans over to the Greek, and that's what <laughs> Americans need to do. That's exactly what Greece yeah, people, what Greece people doing are that. doing. That's what we They're basically right now on the verge of kicking the Fed out of Greece, and that's what we need to do. We shouldn't have did that so long time. Since 1913, it should have been right then. Boom, back, well, back, see ya. And the thing, <laughs> to, I don't get how we can think that it's legitimate or even the politicians could have thought that it was legitimate because they had to realize that even when they got back into session that it was very few um, uh, politicians that were there, if I recall the story correctly, and the story is true. There were only three politicians that were there on the Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve the Eve of Christmas uh that where they voted the um the the uh, federal reserve act into play we don't even know really the 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 actions what took place during that period of time too i mean well, real the I, real story you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying well, the real story exactly you're right because they might have been yeah they might have been under threat or something we don't yeah, know don't show up or you know it, it, it's it's you know we get a lot of things in writing these days and in, in these times but you got to realize not all the stuff that's put before you is true um, and then that goes, that segues into right where we want to go. And that is this, is that there's a lot of misinformation and disinformation out there. And I think we mentioned this previously about um, about there are so-called sovereign citizen movements or people uh, promoting the sovereign citizen movement that is, uh, I'll take a look at it a little bit, that, um, that are promoting certain um, um, agendas. They're, they're promoting certain ways of doing things and, and uh, you know, like I said, creating promissory notes and that you can go uh, deposit into a bank to create any type or, you know, to create a an immense, immense amount of monies, uh, you know, millions, billions if you want, but yet they charge $700 for it. Um, it a lot of this stuff, you know, the EFT movement that is going where you can write checks off of closed accounts and stuff like that. And I'm telling you, you guys got to look at the history genius. of things. Look at yeah. the history of the seventies and eighties of the of the of the um uh the sovereign citizens movements before us and look at how many of them in jail and for what? What they're in jail for. Some of them are still serving time. Oh, I know the guy that's created the yeah. EFT movement where you can write checks off of closed accounts that is becoming real popular now, uh especially here in the East Coast again. or just on the West yeah. Coast again. Uh that he's still serving time for that. And yeah. um I'm like, Well, somebody brought it to me and I'm like, Are you are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, did you not think about this? Why would I want to do that? And and if I know that creating a bank account with a social security number tells me that uh, I'm operating in commerce, that means that I'm not operating in my autonomous mode. I'm operating under a corporate status or a commercial status. Why would I want to take part in that? So it just sounds insane when somebody comes to me and says, you know, I want to be sovereign. Can you help me? And how, what, you know, how should I file the UCC one? And how should I file this and that and these and those? First of all, dude, if you want to be sovereign, if you want to be free, first of all, exp explain to me what you're trying to do. Don't just tell me you want to be sovereign because sovereign means you want yeah, to be no the rule maker for everybody. Indeed, so tell indeed. me what you're really trying to do. Are you trying to be free? Are you trying to be the rule maker? Well, then, you know what? If you're asking me, then you don't have the power to. 
No doubt. You don't it's have like the power he, to be sovereign. You don't have the you don't have the mentality to be sovereign. If you're asking exactly. me, how can I be sovereign? Sovereignty is you're a already mindset. asking the wrong question. Yeah, you're, asking the wrong... You're, you're starting out with the wrong premise. Mm-hmm. You know, for example, I'll tell you this: if you think that the date is actually November fourth, two thousand eleven, and you think that that's actually a true date and the only date that there is in the world, then you are not autonomous and you are not sovereign. Come on, you're not. Come on, brother. I mean, people don't people. A lot of people that'll go right over your head. That'll go right over your head because we start out with assumptions or presumptions, and those are incorrect assumptions. There it is, right there. There it you know, is, right those there. Those are supremacy type of the programming that has been put into your head. And I suggest, to really, if you really want to be free, I suggest you study uh, neural lingu- linguistic uh, uh, trans- transmission. NL. Yeah. NL- NLP uh, programming, not NLP. transmissions, but yeah, programming. Right. Neural linguistics is what I suggest that you study. Um, because we've been programmed, we have been. Good, and I they've know been doing a good job. People too. think that that's that's uh, science fiction. It's not. It's okay. not. Look up Elf. Look up ELF. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how. 1984 to, in effect right now. I don't know how to I reiterate mean, yeah. that enough to people strongly enough that first, if you want to be autonomous, um, which means you want to be, you want to express your liberty, your freedom. Um, then you have to start in your own head and on, then we can have a conversation because we're disconnected I'm in a certain place and then you're in a certain place and to be honest with you right now this is what people are when people come ask me that question they are an eagle that believes that they are a mouse that's it that's a good illustration too until you realize that you at least yeah. have the capability of flight to soar it's hard for us to talk because I just it's just hard for me to put it in perspective for you it honestly is, and um, you know, and, and, you, yeah. Ooh, and, and that's, that's yeah. saddening sometimes, but that also means that there are certain things within you that you need to deal with within us all. And I don't get me twisted; I don't have everything perfect. I there's a lot of things I need to deal with, but you know what? Oh, yeah. I'm on the path to deal with it. And the first mm-hmm. the way to deal with a problem is to first recognize that you have a problem. That's it, right there, brother. That's it. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that because that's what it really come down to, and that's the really understanding of knowing thyself, right. understanding who you are, and taking the time to really get to know who you are yourself. Indeed. Not getting occupied by everybody else's time. They taking you off the path, keeping yep. you busy. I gotta go to work. I gotta make money. Mm-hmm. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do that. I was just everything. telling you the other day. Hurry up and wait. I was just we telling used to call you the, the military. Day. You gotta hurry up and wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was t- telling you the other day, I- I'm going to take the time to slow down, stop always rushing things and moving too quick on certain things. Let me just take my time. We on this land. We, I, like I said, we all we in this portal. Let's utilize this portal while we can. Right, <laughs> you know, indeed, indeed. at the same time, everything's in timing. Everything's indeed. in timing. And that's the whole key thing about study. You know, mm-hmm. keeping your mind, researching, getting down. And research everything we saying on this, you know, when we talking about on these shows. Because, I mean, you can go far back. I got everything online. So you can find everything we talk about online, literally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like we're, you know, we, and we always want to be challenged. That's a good thing. I mean, not even challenged. If you're coming with some knowledge, bring the knowledge. Don't yeah, be sitting there high. That's the, that. Let, let me just break this out. Let my little rant right real quick. Mm-hmm. But those of you who's out there who's actually in disguise or whatever you trying to do, <laughs> but uh, you, you sit up there and hit me up on YouTube and half-stepping, you know, and then you, you send me some crazy stuff. If you got some opinion or you got some knowledge, share it with me. I'm always open for that. I'm not saying my way is only the only way. Mm-hmm. We're here to learn. That's what we do this. That's what we're sharing this with you with about. <laughs> right. And you know, until- share- sharing our thoughts right and you know, until, our research. until i can actually ascend and turn trans transmorph my body uh into the merkaba i'm not where i want to be and even then there's a there's a place i gotta be uh you know further i gotta go so um 
there's by no means are we saying that we know know it all but there are certain things that I know and there are certain things that I will not involve myself in with the path that I have created for myself or that I've chosen to take now with I, everybody's not looking for sovereignty some people are just looking for convenience and they want to know how they can deal within commerce conveniently you know what that's fine how they want to be a creditor within commerce rather than a sovereign on their own and that's fine if that as long as that's what you know that you want to do but in that case I'm not the right one to ask I don't and deal plus, don't way. mix, don't mix the fires. Please don't mix the fires. You trying to mix common, common law with commerce? That don't work. No, it really and doesn't. That's been the, yeah. that's been the issue we have seen across the board. And we're talking about some heavy hitters out here. Well, Literally, let's, that's let's close got... out. Let's let's give them some specific information though on that. Okay. We, you okay. know, we were talking right before we came on that about what was it twenty eight U S C um sixteen oh five was it. Yep, about um, the Sovereign Immunities Act. Right, the Sovereign Immunities, Immunities Act. And what some people have doubted us on is they said, well, that's talking about foreign states and, you know, the, if a foreign state is involved in, um, in commerce and so on and so forth. If you don't believe that the state that you're in, for example, that the Republic of Washington is foreign to the federal government. Come on, brother. Then you don't know law. You don't know the lint premise yeah, you, of law. You, you, you fall in front of a banana in a tailpipe. The, the the Republic of Texas, the Republic of California, the Republic of all f alleged fifty uh, sister states are foreign foreign excuse me to uh, the federal government, and they are also foreign to one another. And if you are involved in commerce, which is regulated specifically by the federal government, if you're involved there, then you're waiving your right to sovereignty. You're a part of a political subdivision. And if you're a political subdivision, you need to look that term up. Then that means you're a political subdivision of the federal government. Indeed. So now Indeed. is your, for example, when, let's just use, let's use Idaho, for example. When Idaho sends you something in the mail that says state of Idaho, and the state is capitalized, the, the, the first S in the cap, uh, is capitalized mm -hmm. in the state of Idaho and I you're actually dealing with a corporation or a corporate entity there not the Republic of Idaho you're dealing indeed, with indeed. a political subdivision so anytime you're dealing with court and it says on the top state of this um, county of this and, and the court name blah 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 whatever you're dealing with a political subdivision you're not dealing with the Republic because they have certain rules that they have to go by and the issue that is before them is irrelevant and immaterial it should be thrown out yeah, yeah. okay and so and then so on that speaking of that you did speak on um another one eight or yeah 18 usc 242 242 check that out yeah the yeah, color check of, that out yeah um violation of rights and the color of statute um I would suggest that if you have um, an ongoing issue with, um, you know, police or anything in a in a in a small capacity such as traffic tickets or anything of that nature, that you use that as a weapon, use that as your weapon, as your tool. Um, there's also Title 42, which is um, a variance of, of codes that are actually uh, put there to uh, protect the rights of individuals. And it's so. Again, it goes back into the to, to where we started this off of. You know, there was a comment that we received that, you know, why are we suggesting that people rebel against the government? No, I'm not. Everything no. we say is based in, in law. Everything we, yeah. we, esta we establish ourselves with here is based in law. And there's Always a premise yeah. of what, or, or there's a, uh, a remedy of what you can use that is based in law to go after them. Now, if we were going outside of the law in order to overturn this and just, you know, knock this whole thing down, that's a rebellion. And be indeed, yeah. <laughs> this is not a rebellion. We're acting within the nature of Thomas Jefferson, if you want to call it. Exactly. Yeah, and keep it real. I mean, Thomas you know, Jefferson was Frederick Douglass. giving you the. Yeah. It was definitely. Marcus it was Garvey. on point. He was I mean, telling you. Yeah, they was telling you. The they only thing exactly we're, we want them to do is to make it fair across the board. That's it. Indeed. That's what we want them to do. Stop all this nonsense. Stop using this trickery because what they use is they use people, uh, the civil rights movement, for example. They use the civil rights movement in order to capture power. Ooh. They use nine, Beautiful just like they use 9 11 Beautiful. to capture uh -huh. power. They use the uh, Bay of Tonkin to capture power. They use World War II, capture power. The Korean War, the start of the Korean War, to capture power. They use these it's things, these events, and your fear 
to capture power. You have to be masterful. You want to be sovereign. My thing is to you is be masterful. Mm -hmm. I didn't say you to be master of anyone else. I said for you to be masterful over your life. Mind your own business, as they would mm -hmm. say. <laughs> you know? And, help and, your and brethren. speaking of that business, uh, 26 7701 26 Go check that out. Oh, yeah. The functions of a public <laughs> office. Assist. And yeah. I know this is getting long, so we don't want to lose people. We want to keep people, uh, keep your attention. So um, you want to go ahead and start. Uh, wine is down. You want to anything you want to put yeah, out to go the ahead. people so that they can. No, just anything you want to say. Last words, and I'll end it. Um. Well, you know, like I said, my thing is that everything that is without is within, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to emphasize that enough. I know that's that's gonna go over a lot of people's heads, and people are not ready to hear that. Some people are not ready to hear that. For those of you who are, uh, everything without is within. You don't have to seek for answers out there everywhere. Everything is it was mm -hmm. within you. You have the accessibility to it. Um, and I, I strongly suggest this. If you're not a big reader, then meditate. If you're not a big meditation guy, then you know what? Start talking to people and start talking about different things than what you're normally used to. You know, get out of the Kim Kardashian and, and what's going yeah. on with the NBA lockout and who's playing the game this weekend. I'm not saying don't, you know, I'm not saying don't entertain yourself but again remember there's a time and a place for everything and we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge and if you want to continue the destruction then keep ignoring things keep ignoring knowledge and keep ignoring what's what's happening before you and um and you'll get your don't wish. be like yeah. but don't complain about and don't it don't be like yeah don't be like what happened yeah. Because the signs are happening. Are the signs are right before uh -huh. us of what's going on. I mean come on man if you can look at a at a at a big thing of dynamite and the way that you know it's going to blow up is because that wick is on fire that wick yes, is lit indeed. that you know that yeah. dynamite is eventually going to blow up if you want that dynamite not to blow up turn that wick out <laughs> you know yes. what i mean <laughs> or take it out the heat the sun or whatever uh -huh. the case is the point is is that you have to look and see the elements of everything that's going on around you what's being put together before you and how it's going to um how it's going to uh, come to fruition and it's it's right before us man it's you know, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, one of the things that I, I do have to say is this too: on Halloween, there was, um, and I know this seems like I'm jumping around, but it does go into um, everything that we've been talking about. On Halloween in New Orleans, there was some. Uh, uh, there's a big to do about some uh, gunfire that went on with some teenagers, you know, um, and a couple of people were killed, and there was like 16 shot and things of that nature. So now people again are talking about gun rights. And I'm going to tell you this, if you look at Switzerland, Switzerland demands or requires that every man have a gun. And it also requires that every man receive military training. They don't have a standing army, but all of their men are prepared just in case anyone decides to invade them to, to oh, stave man. them off. The reason mm -hmm. that after Pearl Harbor that the United States was not invaded uh, following the uh, instant incident or the invasion of Pearl Harbor, the reason that the United States was not invaded or California was not invaded is because the amount of guns that were in the population. Man, let's stop yeah. being ridiculous <laughs> about gun control and, and things of that nature and let's do things properly and rationally. I'm not saying that there's not a gun problem, don't get me wrong, but when you train people properly and you have everybody, like I said, mm -hmm. like, a, like Swiss, Switzerland, they don't have issues with uh with gun problems because everybody's trained and if you, some we dare somebody to come over in switzerland and start shooting up a university everybody's gonna <laughs> pull out and let loose on that dude there ain't gonna be nobody dead but that one uh -huh. he might get one person Indeed. but that's it but you remember what happened in, in uh, virginia tech when the cat went around yeah. columbine yeah. when the cat getting run around and stuff like yeah. that it's yeah. because yeah. we are ignorant and we refuse to tell the truth to our children Children That's are, it, right there. We free, we, we, oh, we're we're built theory. on a lie. We're built on a lie. It's a Santa Claus. So let's start telling the truth to ourselves <laughs> and to our children. They can handle it. I promise you. I promise you, children can handle it because mine have. I see children that handle the truth every day. There are places in the mm -hmm. world where ch children handle the truth that, that that adults here wouldn't be able to handle. Oh, brother, okay? we see that. We see that. So let's stop being naive. Let's start stop being irrational, and let's be true to ourselves. And to our brethren and sister, mm -hmm. and I want to say peace note, to the sister yeah. real quick. I want to say peace to a sister out there okay. who's uh, 
uh, an apparent fall from grace, which, uh, sister, you have not fallen in my eyes. Black indigo, peace to you. Everything is all right. Keep your head up, sister. Yeah, no doubt. All shout out. But on that note, like we always say, peace, love, and happiness to y'all. Hotel. <laughs>